Hey folks, it's me, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a package management program called Homebrew that is necessary so that you can install more programs on the Mac that are Unix based. Um, you will see that. Um, I'll give you some documentation so you can read up on that. And the second half of the, uh, the video, um, we will use a program called Art Scan to scan your local network and find devices there. That was the primary reason, but let's get started. Um, for most of you, you probably do not have Xcode. If you do not, you should run this command first. Xcode dash select install. As you notice here, it pops up this little window and you have these two options. Now, most of you, if you want to install Xcode, it's a great program. It's a development program. You can click this. It takes like, um, I don't know, maybe 50, maybe 20, 20 gigs. I don't know. Some of you, if you don't have enough space, you probably just want to click this. This will only install the packages that you need. Once this is done, we go look up Homebrew. So we just type Homebrew Mac. First link. See, it says homebrew. It's boo.sh. Actually, it would have been quicker to just type boo.sh, but okay, whatever. Installing this, we do it from the command line. Copy, and then paste. Enter. Now, important. If you did not get this, you probably made a mistake somewhere in copying and pasting. <laughs> it's really hard to do, but anyway. Once we're done, we go and run three very important commands. So I want you to write these down on a piece of paper. Your first command, brew doctor. Now anything after the word brew, by the way, is just going to tell you, um, is just going to be the command that brew. You need to run brew and then whatever the command is. So um, I'll give you more info. But here we've got a little bit, a couple warnings. Okay, so it says here, please note these warnings are just used to help the maintainers. Okay, so. If everything you use in homework is working fine, then don't worry, okay? So, but you should read all of this information, okay? Second command. For those of you who've used Linux, you should recognize that update. The next command you should know. Do upgrade. Normally, <laughs> right now, since we just installed it, it shouldn't. Every time you run homebrew, though, you should run those three commands, just to make sure. Um, always. So. First uh, command you will want to learn about, the coolest one, is brew search. So I'm going to maximize this screen and type brew search. We can type the name and then type another uh, part of what the name that we want. For example, the one we're, that we're looking for is ARP. So we do brew search ARP and it'll give us, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you've got a number of things that match that. Okay, But if we just type brew search It'll give you everything, and you can literally check out. It's kind of like an entire directory of all the stuff that you can install. These are just tons and tons of programs. What we can do is we want to go ahead and do info. So, for example, let's go ahead and do brew info on ARP scan. And here it tells us ARP scan. It tells us the version, ADR, the fingerprinting tool, GitHub to, uh, da -da 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 -da. and it tells you here. If it's installed, by the way, it will tell you it's installed. I, of course, do not have it installed. It tells you dependencies, da da da, all that stuff. Now, one more feature that Brew has is it, it like I said, this is not the only list of, of uh, programs. There are many, many, many more, way more. Here's another place where you can find more files. It's called BrewCast. Cast programs are actual windowed type programs. You may even recognize some of the programs in there, by the way, um, including, um, you know, it, there's even more programs in there. there. There's Google Chrome, there's Mobius, there's, um, I mean, there's just a ton of programs. These are all um, GUI programs, okay? These are probably more interesting to many of you, so you're going to want to look up, like I said, Brewcast, that's that command. Um, just Brewcast, and you can install any of these programs, okay? So that's the next one. 
Now, we can get access to even more files, programs, and scripts by going into the subdirectories for Homebrew. Now, in order to tap those directories, we will want to first, of course, know where they're, what are they, where they're located. So, you can just go to the GitHub Homebrew and scroll down and you'll see the names of all these directories. PHP, Python, Emacs, Games, GUI, Binary, da, 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 da. There's a lot of them. Okay, now to access them, it's really quite simple. The command is just blue tap, and then we type home blue, and for example, we'll say games, and that'll that'll allow us to access it. Then next, we type in blue search and blue game. Now, there's a bunch of them now. Do not get the idea that any of these games are advanced or anything like this. This is just, this stuff is like 1980s style old, ancient terminal games. So uh, most of you will probably not find these interesting other than maybe, you know, out of curiosity. You might want to spend some time checking them out. Okay, the one that I think is interesting is this one, Pac-Man for console. So we'll go ahead and check that one out. In order to install, just like we did before, Okay, well, first of all, let's go ahead and get some info on it. Blue info, Pac-Man for console. Okay, so it tells us, and it says, of course, not installed. You know, we can get more info. And so we can do blue home to go to the home page for Pac-Man for console. Just some simple information. That's what it's actually going to look like. And once we want to install it, Very small game, like I said, doesn't take any time to install. And to run it, we just type the word Pac-Man. Some games you run by their name, by the way, but this one you just run by the name Pac-Man. As you can see, there's really just almost nothing to this game. And once you want to quit, you can just control C. Control C quits the game. Let's go check out another directory. Now this is the science database. It's got a lot of great information, but I don't want to spend three hours on it, so I'll just give you an example. One of my favorites is called Cytoscape, which lets you analyze proteins and the way that they interact in the body. Very interesting. I'll let you check it out, but let's move on. Now to install the program in, that we want to install, it's quite simple. It's not in any subdirectory, it's in the main directory, so we just type Now, in order to use it, we want to know which network interface we are using. To get that, we just type... Okay, now once we've run the I have config command, it gives us the names of all the network devices. Really, there's only one that we're focusing on. Um, if you're not sure which one is important on yours, you may want to go look up a tutorial on I have config and networking on your type of computer to get a better idea. Wish I could do it here, but that would just make this video an hour long. So. so once we know the device name, we just run the command, sudo arp scan interface equals in and look on that. And voila, it starts giving you responses. Now, some of you may actually be familiar with another program called um, Nmap. The program Nmap uh, was used to be a really popular program for finding um, things. And you can also install it, as a matter of fact. Nmap. And there it is. 
So you can install it. The reason I use um, the, I use the ARP program is honestly, it actually finds things, including it'll find hidden um, computers, it'll find things that normally NMAP will not find, and it takes a lot less. There's a lot more documentation on how to use it, so you'll want to look that up. I just wanted to show you how to get this thing running. Let me, let me move on to the other machine. Now, in Debian Linux, we can go ahead and run the, a similar command, which is just uh, get install arp scan. Once we've installed arp scan, we want to find out our interfaces, so we just type in Debian IPA. And here we have our main interface, of course, is F0. And here, as you can see, we're going to find the same number of machines as in the other computer, of course, except the one that's doing the search. So, Let's get back to our other machine. So in conclusion, we installed Homebrew. I showed you how to install and search for just a, an enormous amount of Unix-based programs and even some graphical programs. I showed you the Homebrew subdirectories, like the games and the science directories. You should go check them out. And we also installed ARP Scan and ran it on the Debian. It's a wonderful program that will allow you to locate computers on the network that even Nmap cannot find. So it's really, really useful. I like it a lot. Got any questions? Let me know, okay? Okay. Thanks a lot, and take care.